Hi, I'm Rory, technician from Parfana Mendez, and today I'm going to show you how to sharpen a 404 chain. In order to sharpen your 404 chain, you'll need a couple of tools. You'll need a, a file holder, a flat file, and your filing gauge. The filing gauge will tell you the angle of the chain so you can determine which one of the chains you got. The flat file will sharpen your depth gauge and your file holder you'll use to sharpen the cutter of your chain. Before you start, you need to ensure that the bar is stable so that when you start sharpening the chain, it, it don't move. First, we need to check to ensure that we, which angle of chain we got. You do that by sitting the filing gauge on top and you'll notice the angles here, 30 and 10. We'll check this chain out to see which angle we got. From checking, we can notice we got a 30 degree chain. So we know how to sharpen this chain. Ensure that the bar front is secured. And with the filing gauge and setting it at 30 degree, we push through the chain and you'll only need about three strokes in order to get this chain sharpened. After sharpening that one, you need to rotate the chain to get to the other cutter. And you continue on. The chain is equipped with left and right cutters, so after sharpening the right side, you need to go to the left side by turning the chainsaw to the other side. Where you could turn the chainsaw. And do the other side of the chain. After the cutters are all sharp, we we'll need to check to ensure that the depth gauge hasn't moved over the, the, the gauge line now. Set the depth gauge on top and ensure that the depth gauge doesn't come over. The depth gauge is a small part of the cutter tooth that actually determines how much of this cutter tooth gets into the chain. Set it on top to ensure that it's clear here, it's not supposed to be over. If it is over, use your flat file to remove the material so that it goes back right exactly with this depth gauge. The first step in basic maintenance and care for steel chainsaws is a visual inspection. We start by inspecting our cotton attachment and ensuring that our chain is snugly fitted and the chain cutters are sharpened. Also inspect your safety brake to ensure it's fully functional and comes back and forth. Do a pull on the compression check to ensure that we're getting compression and it moves freely. Check and ensure all caps close tightly and we have no leaks. Ensure that your filter cover is properly closed and snug and check the throttle handle to ensure that it's moving properly. We now go through the removal of the bar and chain on our still MS361. Using the bar squinch, we remove the two nuts that hold the bar. Remove the cover. There you have the chain, lift the bar of the bar studs and slip the chain off. Bar on your chain. When you're ready to refit, Set your bar on the studs. When you're refitting your chain, ensure that the chain cutter, the sharp end, faces to the front because that's the direction in which it will have to rotate in order to cut. You might want to slacken your chain tensioner in order to refit this 
chain properly by unscrewing or screwing anti clockwise. Slacking a bit more. To make the job a bit easier. After refitting, you need to retention the chain by turning on your chain tension again. Then it's a bit snug. Refit the cover, and after refitting the cover, we'll finish retentioning the chain completely. Fit the rear screw, hand tighten, and then we go back to retentioning the chain. Whenever the chain needs to be retentioned, we need to ensure that this point is up, and then we go through the retentioning. Fully tighten the knot to the back. Short chain brake is off and move the chain along the bar to ensure that it's moving freely. You need to retention it a bit more. When you need to check to ensure that your chain is properly tensioned, you carefully hold on the chain and pull up. You're supposed to see about three of the drive links out of the groove and it's supposed to snap its way back into the bar. Like that. And it's supposed to be moving freely along the bar. After confirming that it's properly tensioned, refit the other nut. And you're okay there.